8,100, 60 pounds, the Jayco Eagle HT 25.5 REOK here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the smallest of uh, all of Jayco's fifth wheels in current production, and it brings with it a really large, impressive series of uh, features and amenities. Uh, Eagle really is kind of a, uh, a brand where in the HT series, they sort of have the, the features of the next class up and something the next size down. Uh, like always, they found a way to kind of take it to the next level in the same size package. It means this might be a little heavier, Might means it might be a little more expensive than similar floor plans from other brands, but it's also going to have more jazz, more features, more widgets and whiz bangs, and it also has more warranty with twice the coverage of virtually anybody else out there. Of course, the bedroom and bathroom are going to be easy to access with the slide closed due to the location of the hallway, but one of the hiccups with having nice big features like the huge countertop and the nicer dining arrangement that you'll see as we go here in the Seagull is that it gets awful cramped when the slides are closed. Now, if you're willing to actually literally crawl under the table, most people are not, I understand that, or if you're willing to do a little bit of the butt scoot buggy and just slip over that countertop, what you can do is you get on the other side of the counter and have your partner in crime hand you stuff to pack up the fridge and the kitchen area. So it's not really that bad. Of course, then again, you could literally just, you know, push the slide button that is within arm's length of where I'm standing for about three seconds and get in there. It's not that hard. Now, what we're looking at today is the modern farmhouse decor, those lighter, brighter wood tones with that sharp antiquing accents, and then these lighter gray furniture uh, complements to that. If this is just not your cup of tea, I get it. It's been very, pol I, I know it's polarizing. You're either going to love it or hate it. There's almost no in between on this. Um, if you prefer more of that traditional brown and brown and brown, well, Eagle still offers that. It's called American Tradition. But you can also take a look at the Cougar 25RES fifth wheel that we carry here at Halet RV, which is essentially the same floor plan as this, but with more of those brown tones that maybe you'd appreciate. Uh, so, you know, we always like to give people lots of different options. And remember, the one here in this video could be different. Now, speaking of options, you have different ways that you can build this thing. We've swapped out the standard booth dinette for a freestanding table and chairs because Eagle does an amazing table and chairs arrangement. You've got an extension leaf, an easy lift, what I like to call destination dining desk, and a pair of fold away guest chairs that we'll see in a minute. Um, and then over here, you've got a trifold sleeper sofa. We wanted to keep this in here to, to maintain some level of guest sleeping uh, capacity. Although you also have a wall hugging theater recliner arrangement available as well. So do us a favor, leave us some feedback, let us know what you think is the best way to build it and that way we can always make sure we're doing the best job for you. Now, you can see how this sofa is directly across from the entertainment center for easy, easy viewing here. It's what I like to call a no-neck wrecker entertainment. And uh, above that, kind of going along with that, if it's movie night, you have a really neat feature here with dimmer sense or touch sense dimmer switch lighting. Uh, it's very cool. Like if you do have a guest on that high to bed, or if it's just you're, you know, it's late at night, early morning, you don't need all the high intensity bright lights because man, do they use lots of lights in here. Um, you also have a 15,000 BTU standard whisper ducted air system, which is unbelievably uncommon in a smaller fifth wheel category like this. One of the only other places you'll tend to find it would be like on the open range ultralights, like the 2804 uh, rear kitchen that we carry here at Halet RV. If you like something this size, but maybe this arrangement isn't quite for you, you like the idea that whisper ducted air, take a look at that open range. But back here to the Eagle. All these windows and living area open for airflow. Excellent, excellent visibility. It makes a smaller RV look and feel not so small. And you've got like near blackout privacy shades here as well. Now, just like those ceiling lights for a dimmer switch, the pedestal lights uh, above the dining are the same way. Another thing, if you notice, it's not just like a, a false sort of wood uh, grain you can see in these. That's, that's actual real wood. They use better higher grade materials in the uh, production of these Eagle RVs, even here in their smaller class and category. And that's one of the things that I do like about Eagle RVs. They are smaller with a big fifth wheel, like for, uh, equipment package, feature setup. Now over here, just another look at that entertainment center. I do want to point out we've added the optional fireplace to this one, which we call it a fireplace. It's an electric space heater, but it's also remote controlled. Above that, you've got a Bluetooth DVD player, and Jayco actually runs HDMI wiring. So all of this is not just HD capable, but actually HD, uh, you know, visible. 
Um, the TV has a double jointed swing arm, so not only does it directly face the sofa already, but you can really make it face the kitchen or the dining if you wanted to. And I like that entertainment expansion slot right below the TV area there. So if you want to bring along a Blu-ray or something, now you have the space to put it, and they actually give you and run the wiring to be able to get the high def output from it. Another handy feature about the placement of that entertainment center and all that night lighting is once again the trifold sleeper sofa if you choose to add that to your RV like we've done here. So if you do have adult guests or maybe you got a couple of grands with you or something like that, that is an adult sized guest sleeper that at night if you need to get their little kitty busy bodies kind of worn down if you have some of the littles over for the weekend you can flip something on the tv over there you know netflix amazon toss in a dvd or just whatever local channels you happen to be getting and they'll just start to sit in one spot slow down breathe a little slower close their eyes and put themselves to sleep now the smaller the rv is the more critical every ounce of storage space becomes that's why i like to take a moment to kind of open everything up and let you get to see what is really available here now what's kind of neat uh, all of the cabinetry, not just in the kitchen, but all over the place, it will be hidden hinges, which is very nice uh, when you have cabinet doors behind slide fascia like this, because uh, if you hit a chuck hole really hard and one of these rear cabinet doors pops open, the hidden hinge will tend to keep it closed enough. You'll open the slide out and it won't break the cabinet door. And it's those extra little details in Eagle class and appointment and hardware that make the difference. Um, up here, above the entertainment center and now when we get outside you'll notice in this rear corner you have a large outside kitchen that's what's kind of cool about this design is it gives us a, a great amount of storage capacity with a neat exterior feature now um there's not really anything to be gained behind the fireplace so you don't really lose any storage by going to that you just gain a nice feature with some bonus heat that doesn't eat up your propane we're uh, kind of just skipping past the refrigerator here, but I do want to point out that that is an 8 cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer. So very traveling friendly, off grid friendly, auto backup in the event of power loss as well. Uh, cabinetry is also all pocket screwed with uh, um, hardwood cabinet door frame. So again, built very similar to things like the uh, Jayco North Point big fifth wheels. I like that stainless appliance bundle. Just kind of breaking up some of the color scheme in here as well. Now, all of the countertops here, even that little rear utility countertop or in the bathroom, they're going to be a pressed edge membrane. And that allows them to do some neat things. One, it's just a better material that's more water resistant. Um, secondly, they can recess the sink and the stove more easily and give you maximum prep space. So this L-shaped peninsula countertop gives you pretty good prep area in a smaller RV. Now, kind of like I tapped on the slide fascia, you can do the little wedding ring test and you can hear the difference between actual metal hardware. Chef grade bamboo flush mount cutting board and aluminum roll away drying rack are just kind of neat upscale classy features they've put into here. Down below you can see uh, three full extension plywood box drawers. There's also an additional full drawer under the oven there. We just can't quite open it yet. The reason that they did this though is so that you could be able to open these drawers if you do get around the slide when it's closed. Um, and get the RV packed up. They didn't want the, you know, the um, drawers there to kind of be bashing into the slide or anything. Now, next to the entry door there, one of those two big mirrors actually opens right up and creates something like a, a handy little coat closet so that you, uh, you know, have a place to hang a jacket right when you walk in the door, but it doesn't look like you're hanging jackets right inside the door when you walk into your RV. And a quick look for you, all closed up, nice and clean looking. And I did want to take a moment to show you that full-sized drawer below the oven there that is good for those bigger things pots pans stuff like that now over here is that destination dining desk that I mentioned you can see you've got a pair of those fold away chairs I've got one here one stowed under the bed currently which is a great place for them and that's kind of what I like about this a lot of times when you get a freestanding table and chairs and a smaller fifth wheel even in some bigger fifth wheels you just get four fixed chairs well, this is a couple's RV. Most of the time, you're going to have need for just two of them. So it is nice to have them out of the way and give you more elbow room when you want it, but it's also nice to have that extra table room and the easy access storage there when you need those too. Again, all these windows open for airflow, so you get some excellent, excellent breeze through there. And you can see that handy power outlet just to the right of the slide there. So if you're looking for a good place to charge up phones, you can. Now on the back side of this big L-shaped peninsula, you can see that there's a, a couple handy things over here. First is a uh, door to be able to get to the storage under the countertop. 
some easy reach appliance outlets, and then this thing. Uh, this is what you're primarily going to use it as is a two port USB hub to charge your phones or whatever. You could get a very expensive, overpriced, uh, I feel, Furion Bluetooth speaker to attach to that, but I think for a third of the price you could get almost any other portable Bluetooth speaker. Granted, it won't attach to that mount, but you know, you gotta decide what's most important to you. I don't know that three times the price is worth the convenience of hooking to that mount. Obviously, I'm willing to share good, bad, ugly, and in between. All of these Eagles will come with this handy little touchscreen remote right here. It can run your slides, your awnings, your uh, leveling gear, and your stabilizer jacks, which is nice. So what you can actually do is while you're getting hitched up, you can have this remote with you in the truck, raise and lower the nose of the fifth wheel so that you never have to get out. You can just back right up to this thing and get hitched or unhitched, as it were. And over here, you've got your full uh, command center, and it's up kind of high, away from the little kid fingers. And you can kind of make it a little bit of a out of sight, out of mind. Quick note, I'll probably talk about this again later, but it's an important feature. People look at this, and it's nice that you have windows on the campsite of the RV for you to get to see out of your campsite right here. This is about the only window in the RV that doesn't open for airflow because there's no cross breeze window across from it, so it just wouldn't make any sense. But... Uh, you don't want to lose privacy, so there is a shade that pulls down there as well. Hopping upstairs, as always, Eagle does little extra things. Silly detail things a lot of brands miss, like how about the fact that our bathroom door locks? I mention that because a lot of them don't. A lot of them don't, guys. Uh, up here in the bathroom, I've got all the lights turned off currently because Eagle does a really cool thing with their lighting if I can reach around the corner and find the switch. So... First of all, looks like first switch I got is backlit morning mirror. If you just want some indirect light to help you get ready in the morning, you can. You see it'll make your sink glow uh, pretty darn nicely. Then up, up here above the shower, we've got a single blue LED night light. Now, it's pretty overcast right now, so we're getting some of the idea of it. But at night, when you're getting no light pollution bleeding in from outside, It'll make this whole bathroom glow pretty comfortably, actually. So if you need to get here at night to use the bathroom, you can. And then, of course, we've got our, you know, full main cabin lighting. We'll, we'll actually get up on the roof at the end of this video and look, but this fan is essentially rainproof, which is really handy today. So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, lifting, lowering, etc., any of that. Over here, you can see that you've got uh, a very tall person-friendly shower. Like, I'm 6'2", 6'3", I'd fit in there. No sweat skis. Because... The plumbing is actually recessed into the floor, so the shower floor, uh, the shower pan, is the same level as the rest of the floor. And notice, they, uh, th they've been really listening, guys. When people say, man, I hate it when they put some kind of floor vent right in front of the shower. They said, no problem, we'll get rid of it, we'll move it, basically. We'll move it to a low traffic zone. Now, just like in the kitchen, we've got that sealed edge pressed membrane countertop stuff here, and that is a real tile backsplash below that mirror. Neat little thing over here. This is a bathroom and bedroom uh, shared combo slide. And what that gives us is excellent linen space in here so that if, uh, you know, whether it's extra toiletries, toilet paper, personal items, you've got uh, extra room for all that stuff without having to leave the RV. And that organically creates a handy dual entry bathroom. So if you do have guests on that hide -a bed and you always want to keep your bedroom door shut, you can. You never have to share space. Now, kind of like the rest of the RV, Jayco's very good about giving you switches for like any of your main cabin lights so that you don't have to go through and click, click, click a whole bunch of them. And they're nice, bright, high intensity lights. And then above the bed there, they've got a set of dual element lights that are either a blue LED reading lamp, just like you kind of saw above the shower, or those nice bright white viewing lights. Um, we do have a uh, 80 inch uh, true queen bed here, a normal residential queen with some very nice linen packages. And as you can see, no more of that big, like, nine-inch step of death at the end of the bed. They found ways to finally shrink that down. Uh, both sides of the bed have uh, nice side stands here with uh, some outlets to be able to run phone chargers, CPAP machines, or maybe, like, a heated blanket or something like that. Ooh, that's a nice one. Now, these are not hanging closets, although I do like how they have a radius corner at the bottom so it's not stabbing you in the shoulder if you roll over at night. And this is one of those things where uh, Eagle, again, being uh, a little more advanced and cutting edge, they include a large breeze-through window in their bedroom closet slide-out, which is one of the reasons they extended it into the bathroom, to give you all of that storage without uh, and a window, so that you're not losing anything. And in point of fact, what you're actually gaining down here is an additional dresser drawer. 
And there's a good look at it right there, as well as that big hanging closet space. So it's not like you lost your hanging closets, they just moved them and actually expanded them within that slide. Now over here, because they don't have the big step up under the bed, they have more cargo space under the easy lift bed area. Again, perfect place for those fold-up chairs. I have one of them remaining down here currently. And as a material premium trailer, absolutely no surprise by the fact that they're using plywood bed decking as opposed to OSB down here. Now, although it's becoming more and more uh, common and available on more floor plans, especially even within the Jayco family, this model has always featured these Moride stable steps. And if you look, it's because the wheel well is actually virtually right under the door. And that's a really key thing I want to point out here. Not just the fact that it is, but the why. Why does it matter? Well, the answer is because of load equalization and axle placement. This RV was custom engineered uh, in a way that most are not. Every single Jayco chassis is custom engineered. And what they found is that if they move the axles forward on this thing, it would tow and handle and bounce uh, less. Everything would be better, basically. Well, the problem was the wheel well was in the way. And they said, well, no sweat. What if we put those Moride steps on that don't require a wheel well? And then being Eagle, they said, well, what if we take it up another two notches? What if we give it the zero degree stable step system? And what if we include on it this oversized additional entry handle right here. So not only does this thing not fall on you, but it just stays right where you left it. You have to kind of really force it down to get there. But when you do with those adjustable foot pegs, it is simple, sturdy, and stable. Everything that I think you're looking for out of a pair of steps. Now it's kind of cool, again, you've got more places to grab onto as you come and go between the dual entry handles. You also have a full window in the entry door and it does have its own interior privacy shade. Remember those things. So you can, you can like even then flinging it, it still doesn't like slam itself shut. You still have to manually lock it down there. Now over here in your pass through, uh, you can see a couple things. Really smart details because the theme of Eagle being smarter is something I hit on all the time because it's true, it makes sense. They have motion sense lighting and that's cool in and of itself, but they have it on both sides of the RV, not just over here with the outside TV hookups, but both sides. They also fully insulate their, uh, uh, not just underbelly, you know, it's, it, this is 0 to 100 degree rated, and it has some of the best uh, proven temperature testing data in the industry, but they're not just heating and closing the belly. They also fully treat the entirety of the uh, gooseneck upper deck, including above the pin box, which is an area a lot of manufacturers tend to miss. Uh, right above those power front leveling jacks with those quick little snap drop legs, you do have room, not only for just good cargo, but up to four batteries. And uh, in addition to the fact that this RV has uh, both side mount solar prep as well as roof mount solar prep, this can be exceptionally off-grid friendly with that side prep looking at you right there. I've got the power outside killed currently just to conserve a little bit of battery, but just like big Eagle fifth wheel, you have both hitching assist lights as well as what I like to call lightsaber lighting. It's like vertical accent beams instead of uh, like dotted LED lights. Now, a um, couple things to note over here. This does have a simple little docking center that has both your outside shower as well as little things like cable and water hookups. But what's cool is you have these little access panels right here where if you want to keep that panel closed so that people can't monkey with your stuff if there's a neighborhood kid who uh, maybe the parents are expecting the neighborhood to raise them instead of doing it themselves. I think we've all met one or two of those in our lifetime, maybe three or four a day. But the fact is you can keep that close so no one can mess with it. Now down here, uh, we like to equip our Eagle HTs with the optional 16 inch tire package, bigger tires on these. And that is one of two things that makes Eagle a smaller class fifth wheel that is still big truck friendly. This RV has a best in class three inch vertical height variance between a two inch adjustable suspension and the one inch larger tires. So uh, when these things come rolling in, on big three quarter ton and one ton dualies, well, they ride just fine. There's absolutely no issues there. Now, uh, back here, something I wanna point out is the uh, Jayco exclusive J Smart lighting system that originally debuted on Eagle last year. It stands for signals, markers, and reverse travel. 
basically what that means is just like a semi tractor trailer if you flip on let's say the right hand turn signals not just the right tail light but upper clearance and all associated side marker lights will blink along with that signal to give other drivers a better understanding what you're doing plus the tail lights and above the backup camera prep all have um, reverse travel lighting that is light and bright and people will know if you're backing up but that's also very handy uh, if you have a spotter or you are using a backup camera to see what you're doing at night here's the best in class feature Eagle was the first to really standardize this across the board in the HT series and that is a best in class towing hitch not just a bike rack accessory hitch but an actual towing hitch you can see on the left side there they do include four-way wiring that's one of the reasons they have little trailer chain hooks there. It has a 3,000 pound tow rating with a 300 pound tongue limit. Of course, you could use it for bike racks, but because it's there, and Jayco does it, guys, uh, that means that if you want to tow a little boat behind this or something, it's not going to void your warranty. You can see the bumper mount gas grill connect over here, and over here we have our outside kitchen with that screaming hot capital grill. Uh, I like the uh, Jayco themed barley pop assist mechanism right there. Galvanized rolled steel countertops next to Dad's medicine cabinet. Over here, another of those uh, USB hubs where you could attach an overpriced Bluetooth speaker if you are so inclined. Now, again, I don't have power, but there are two sets of outside lights here. There's one bright viewing light, and then there is a uh, blue LED sort of evening light. Great storage up here, outside TV hookups as well. If you want to throw a flat screen in there, that is an easy, perfect place to do so. Now, as long as we're talking entertainment over here, I want to point out the fact that our speakers are down low. You've got one speaker uh, just behind the tires over there, and then you've got one just on the other side of the steps, just peeking between that handrail. One more fine little detail before we, well, a couple more actually, I'm sorry. There's, man, there's a lot to talk about on Eagles. Simple little cold water sprayer port. This camper does have a full hot cold outside utility shower uh, on the other side of the RV where you expect it. They put an additional little cold sprayer port over here just for simple little like picnic side campsite cleanups. Like my daughter loves her bubble machine, that would make life simple and easy. Something I should have talked about when I was talking about the bigger tires is that no matter what size tire you get on these, whether it's the standard 15s or the upgraded 16s as you see here in this video, um, they're going to be best in class Goodyear Endurance Radials rated for 87 mile an hour 80 PSI. That means you don't have to go to some kind of fancy expensive tire shop just to get air pressure in your tires. And just like a North Point or Jayco Pinnacle, you're going to ride on a three inch compression rubber equalizing, that's what the CRE means, uh, suspension system for best in class ride and handling. All right, so I don't know if I'm dumb or I'm dedicated, maybe both, but I'm up here on the roof so that you guys can get a good idea what you're looking at up here because you deserve to see every inch of this thing. Um, I, I mentioned I don't know if I'm dumb or dedicated because it's kind of freezing rain right now. It's a little slickery dickery dock up here. Probably don't need to be up here, but hey, it is what it is. Um, we have roof mount solar prep. As I mentioned, you can see that there is plenty of real estate for it. So we walk by that larger 15,000 BTU here, point out how everything is very nicely, cleanly, heavily sealed. They're using a uh, antenna system that thankfully doesn't need to be cranked up or down. Uh, so that, what's nice about that, the reason I mention that is it can't hang off the side of the trailer where it would uh, you know, get ripped off by a tree limb if you weren't paying attention. Our bathroom vent fan is ideal on a rainy day like today because the rain can't get in it. It's a uh, type of vent cap system basically where you can turn the fan on and off whenever you want, no big deal, and it'll always allow the trailer to ventilate a little bit, which is nice. Then over here, we've got our uh, 360 black tank siphon cap which helps keep the uh, black tank odors from backflowing in the toilet into the RV because that's a stinky situation no one wants to ever deal with and that pretty much concludes everything you can see but as is the case with almost any Jayco RV what you can see is only half of what you get because under that roof skin is a best-in-class plywood roof decking and then under that is their magnum truss roof system and those two things together give Eagle uh, HT fifth wheels a best in class roof weight rating of about 4,800 pounds. Now you've got all aluminum uh, framed out laminated sidewalls, rear wall, uh, all aluminum skeleton uh, like uh, upper deck bed and bath decking. Uh, it does have two by three aluminum floor studs every 12 inches on center with a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor decking which is another best in class feature that's matched only by things like Big Brother Eagle, North Point, Pinnacle, really high class heavy duty built brands. That's what you're getting in one of these. That's kind of some of the reasons why 
Eagles aren't necessarily the lightest. They're not the cheapest, for sure. But in a lot of ways, they are the best. But every single one of these things that we're looking at right now, in the, in the 20 acres and 500 campers that we have here for you, every one of them is the best in some way, shape, or form. So, that's why we put these videos together. <laughs> even in freezing rain, even up on the roof. Hope you appreciate that. So, uh, whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything except hidden dealer fees, because we don't do those, we do it all at Halo RV. So, with that, appreciate you tuning in. Take care, stay safe, stay warm, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.